So the sword is very important on this path, and some people say that the 17th path is actually the path of the chariot, and again on the chariot we have the polarity of the black and the white horse. And it's again knowing when to use the polarity, so when to stop and when to go. And it's the battle wagon of using the power. I'm going to show you the sun card in the Heindel deck. And look, oh, there's the rune of uh, the gift rune here, of the X of Gibo. And look, there's a rose on it. How nice. So, Tifreth is the kiss or the gift of the lovers. The cross or the scourge or the T of the tree, which is our human body, is more the cross or the scourge of, or the Tau of the T of um, Mars and Saturn. I already said how the right hand is the sword hand of Zane. I'm going to get into the word a little bit more, but it is, even though there are different angels arguably, and even here it can be said that this is Raphael or Samael, or this could be the Shekinah, or even Ambriel, which is the angel of love for, attributed to the lover's card. Um, it could be argued and some people even switch that Michael is the angel of Hod of Logic um, or is the sword hand and when you're doing um, you know Michael he's at your right hand so I should give you a clue about the sword hand um, but then again um, Judas uh, betrayed Jesus with a kiss and so love links pleasure and pain. Um, some people say that this was the needed fall, that Judas provides um, a needed challenge for humans to better ourselves, such as Loki or the tricksters often do, um, that uh, the snake was necessary so that um, humans could again know their, their godhead. Um, it's a challenge that makes us stronger, and love definitely makes us want to be a better person. That's not to say that it's not a hardship. Some people say that there's a plan, and that that's what represents the covenant and the rainbow of temperance, that, that these two sides will come together, and that um, this is our way of returning. There's growth on the path after the pruning sword of Mars that cuts the rose. You can have new growth. This, the sword cuts all bullshit and a bunch of karmic ac accumulation down to our essence. We have the tower card that throws the imposters out of the tower. And in fact, it goes between the logical mind and the intuitive Venus of Mercury and Venus. The sharpened mind is a sword, and beyond swords, there is also the female uh, grail power. Now, again, this is a different interpretation of, I showed you the queen of swords. This is a three of swords relating to Bina and Bina's sorrow, and so on this path there is also sorrow as well as joy, and I'll be talking about the um, uh, sorrow as well on this path. So knights, they go on a quest to look for the grail, and who does the grail serve? Humanity. Um, the sword and the stone can only be pulled by the worthy. So. Um, thankfully that there, there are some safeguards in place here. In um, a deck of cards, the cups are hearts. So it's again links us to water and emotion. Percival, who sought the grail, is viewed as the fool 
as well. And he goes to a house of maidens where he is, um, it's attempt, the women there attempt to seduce him to, for, to make him forget to go look for the, the cup. So you reach the source and you draw power. As the sword can conquer or free, so can the truth set free and also wound. Beauty is truth and truth hurts. And there is suffering for beauty when we think of the fashion world. The sword of truth um, can set you free and we have liberty and uh, Lady Liberty Venus associations there. And so we have the, we have the strength, the, the uh, symbolism for the strength card is often a woman closing a lion's jaws um, effortlessly. So we have this power within us effortlessly to transcend um, the material or the lower aspects of ourselves and integrate that fully within ourselves. And you can see there's the woman and the snake on this card or the lion and the snake as it's called. As well as I talked about the suffering of Bina, because Bina and Saturn is about restriction and also the paradoxically birth. You have the suffering of Vau, which is the sun, Yadhe Vahe, the Vau, which is the sun, and it also duplicates as the nail. The nail na nails Jesus to the cross, but also nails our spirit to our physical body. So it is ve it's very much a trial, it's a challenge. And from um, the Orphic mysteries of death and rebirth. Some Buddhists, they take a vow of chastity, which I don't agree with, but they say that <clears throat> life brings suffering, so sex brings suffering because it brings forth life. We have to remember that we are spirits having a physical experience. And so <clears throat> Kali is representative of this destroying um, but also life-giving force and can be cha chaotic. And so this is Mother of Wands in the East, Queen of Wands in the Heindel deck. And she's sit sitting on, uh, on her lover, which has a snake entwined on him. <laughs> and she's holding a trident, haha. <laughs> And so we, I talked a little bit about the lion, so I might as well talk about it here. On this card, it has the two pillars and it has um, two dragons, one of red and one of white, representing the two serpent type energy. You have the lower root energy coming up, which is the Kundalini, and then you have the higher energy, the white snake returning returning down. So they have it switched on here, which is great because really we like to divide everything up, energies up into here, but everything is within everything. They've also switched the unicorn and the lion symbolism. The lion should be on this side for the woman and the unicorn should be on this side for the man. They have the eight-sided star of the Kroolian Babylon here, which is this, the number for the Spear of Hod and the symbol is Mercury in the middle on the lover's card. You have the caduceus wand in the middle with the two snakes intertwined. You have the lower human or monkey aspect holding the world of Saturn. On the man's side, which should be the female side, you have the fool. And then on the female side, you have look like what looks like um, Angel Michael or the uh, higher self fire type spirit energy with upright triangle energy on its chest and holding a sword. I'm going to break here and I'm going to talk more about archetypes, symbols, and astrology and the sword.